so one of the things that we talked about in our class um, was farm workers' rights. And um, there's a nationwide movement to support the Immokalee workers in Florida um, to increase the price of tomatoes by a penny per pound, which would um, double, if not more than double, their, uh, their wages. And um, so a lot of businesses have already um, signed on to that and, and support but uh, Trader Joe's was holding out. And so um, as part of a nationwide month of April sh strike, more or less, against um, Trader Joe's, we got a bunch of letters, I think 200-plus letters signed for the manager um, to let them know that there were people supporting the Immokalee workers, and we wanted them to, uh, to jump on that bandwagon. We marched out in front of the Trader Joe's and made a big scene, and everyone was looking, and... Uh, you know, seeing all the kids in the class getting into it and, you know, some of them really pushing and, like, helping us bring the enthusiasm because we were all nervous for sure. And uh, it was a really awesome experience. I think it helped create a more tight-knit bond in our class too. So it was a perfect middle-of-the-quarter boost for the last bit. Yeah, and I think, I think that it was a perfect example of experiential education that ESLP tries to uh, to provide for students because it was it was like here's an issue you know and here's something we can like actually do right now to support what we believe in and uh, and I think for a lot of people in our class they had never been involved in any kind of uh, civil um, action it also uh, I think it was really cool because a lot of you know, students and activism and whatever that happens on campus has no roots to the larger community. And this was a chance where we came from the hill down to the market and supported these workers who were in Florida, not even in California. And it was a lot of fun. And I think that it, it was useful in the fact, just in the fact that we were doing something that wasn't just in this isolated community that's you know, so privileged in everything that we have and all the resources that we were trying to do something more for these people that don't have necessarily have a voice here or anywhere. So yeah, it was really cool.